We are leading the way in the greatest human advancement of all time. The technology running through his veins augments his strength. Welcome back. We're going to open up Bloodshot right here. Vin Diesel version Bloodshot. Ooh. Yeah, he comes with some weapons. He's got two handguns. And he's got like the hip holster things. And it's not just going to be an unboxing because I'm not a review guy. Those guys are good at what they do. That's their thing. That's their niche. If that's what you call is that what you call it? That's their thing. And I'm just going to take this guy and then we're going to do some uh, toy photography at the end because I'm not going to customize this or anything. So we're going to look at it, unbox him, look at it, and then we'll do some toy photography. Really cool story of Bloodshot. If you haven't read the comics ever, check them out. Is it Valiant? Valiant does all those. I, I had a lot of them at one point. And not like the new releases. So I think there is like new releases of the old stories. So, and I believe, I might be wrong, but a lot of the guys who went over to Marvel and DC and all that, they were actually Valiant or they came from there to Valiant. So they have really good writers. So check out their stuff and we're going to jump into this. Let's unbox Bloodshot. Here he is from McFarland Toys, like one of my favorite toy companies. When they started doing the Fortnite stuff and I started messing around with those characters, that was a lot of fun. And I don't know if any of you guys are from the old channel, but I had a lot of fun unboxing those and playing around with them. They had so many accessories, just like this guy. He comes with three guns and a huge, huge knife. So that's cool. Let's check him out. I'm not sure how he's going to pose, but if he's anything like the Fortnite, yeah, he's got double jointed knees. And it seemed like when I was taking them out of the package, like these boots were really cool. And the ankle rockers on these boots. But yeah, they got a lot of mobility. Like not Marvel Legends mobility, but you get better detail with McFarlane. I mean, I know he's a little bit taller of a figure, so he's not your typical. He's like 6.57 inch, so 112-ish. I know 112 is a weird scale sometimes. With Black Series, it's different from Legends. Legends is different from Lightning Collection. So, and now with McFarland's stuff in the last couple years. But yeah, he's on this torso, the peg torso. Kind of cool. I prefer ab crunch and torso, but like I said, the detail is the difference with McFarland. So if you want a crazy good shot for toy photography, you definitely want McFarland's stuff. Got quite a bit of movement. Almost Mezco-esque in the neck. I hate comparing to other companies, but... Because McFarland is his own thing. So yeah, he comes with... Uh, what kind of hands does he have? He has two grippy hands. So he can have guns and knife in one hand. But yeah, um, as far as... like, There's not much ab... There's like not much movement. I mean, the peg torso is cool. I like it usually on female characters. I like when it has the peg torso and the ab crunch, but hey... Like I said, you gotta get rid of some of that stuff so you can have the better detail. Like the detail on just the small things. Like just look at the pants and the detail. Like you don't get that with other companies. Like where the straps actually look like straps on the boots. That's pretty cool. Like you can see the line work in some of the other straps. The two tone, this is brown, this is green. It's not just like all brown and then you have to figure it out on your own. So with this kind of stuff, there is no repainting that I have to do. The only thing I wish is that these kind of went down more and I don't want to break them. But I do wish, I mean, there is almost like a butterfly-esque. I don't know if you guys can see that, how there's like three pieces there. There's your shoulder. There's a joint piece and there's the actual body, the shoulder, the piece of the torso, like collarbone neck area. So it does, oh my gosh, see, that's what I didn't want to do. 
No. No, so it pops back in. So that's good. But yeah, I just want him to have, like, be able to do a little bit closer so he's not always like the picture. But I do like that. It's really cool. So all in all, I didn't think I think this is really cool. It's like having a statue that poses because they look so dang good. I think the knife goes in this hand. I don't know. And right now we're doing the challenge myself and uh, Sunset Doom, who's a super creative, does really great. He does a lot of Star Wars shots. I know he collects all your stuff, but he does mostly Star Wars shots. We're doing a contest right now. It's hashtag shooting SW Sunny D Zilla is the hashtag. And we're going to be giving away some uh, figures on Sunday, February 2nd. And all you have to do is take a photography shot, toy photography shot, and have some character shooting a Star Wars character in the head. It doesn't have to be another Star Wars character. It can be. That's cool. Or, like what I'm going to do, I'm going to have Bloodshot shooting up some troopers and stuff. Who, who knows? Does he have any ties? Does Diesel have any ties to Star Wars? He doesn't, I don't think. Because that would be cool because I could pull out a character that he could actually fire on. So, maybe he'll cut someone's head open. I don't know. But, I think the figure is really cool. Do a quick little spin around thing of this guy. And then we're going to do some toy... Does he just stand? It does come with a stand. It's because he's so heavy. <laughs> yeah, these are really well, really well built, guys. Yes, there's the stand, the bloodshot stand. That just looks cool like that. Like, that's so cool. I've seen so many customs throughout the years of this character. Not with Vin Diesel, but with Jason David Frank, who did the web series of him with Bat in the Sun. And that was really fun. But I'm really glad that we actually have the figure now from McFarland Toys. So we're going to do a little spinny spin thing. They call it the B reel. And then we're going to jump into toy photography. So the setup that I'm using, I'm using this uh, small dial. He might be even too big for this Pepsi machine, so I'm going to pull that out. So I'm using a smaller dial. It's, uh, I think it's like 12 by 12 or something like that. It's not that big as far as size. It's not one of the biggest ones I've ever built. I actually, I didn't even buy it. I didn't even build this one. I bought this one off of a seller on eBay. But I do have, so I use 300, three 100 watt light fixtures. One, two, three. That one's not even getting in on this. And then I have some um, pretty good lights above my head in the ceiling. So I like to have it nice and bright when I'm doing my toy photography. And pretty much for a shot like this, where it's just kind of profile shots, it's not gonna be an action shot. I want to kind of set him up so that he's looking at the camera. And I'm using the D3500. The Nikon D3500. The lens is a 17 to 70. I think it's called the 128 or something like that. I'm not even sure. Here, here's what it says on the lens. So I was told by other photographers what to use and stuff like that. And then this one I actually found from somebody else, and I was like, hey, this works really well. As opposed to what I was using, I was using some lenses that came with it, and then some other lenses that people tell me to get, and they didn't work out so well for me personally. So it's all about whatever type of shot you're doing. So with something like the profile shots, got the easy operations. We're gonna go to advanced. I like to do everything manual if I can. You know, maybe we'll do a little bit darker because it's kind of an alley. And I'm going negative 2.0. And I'm gonna do live view. It's all about like with this lens, 
the focus is really tight. See if I just move it that little bit, how it's out of focus. I know it doesn't come up so well through video on the camera and everything else, but I'll show you what we get. So I'm actually going to drop it down even more because 2.0 was a little bit it's still too bright. So I'll try 2.3. And really, it's all it all just comes down to playing around with what you like and the style that you want to go for. A milk crate down. And I like to take my stuff and just see how much we can get it to work. I'm gonna put these figures to the test. When I get a figure, so I'm kind of going with this type of shot right here. Like I said, we got the competition going on with the stormtroopers, but for now, I think because we're working with AIs and stuff. I'm thinking we're gonna go with the synthetic humans. How wonderful. These figures are great too. Make sure you get the authentic ones because I did have the bootlegs at one time. And uh, yeah, they just didn't hold it up as well. So obviously while I'm looking up, like, oh my God, who is this guy? Dude, this one's already getting shot and kind of thrown back. And I use like little stands like this and stuff, just homemade ones. Now I don't smoke, but I do use this vape for smoke for the effect that it's not nicotine, so you can blow it in your dioramas. Because of the angle that I have to take it, I'm trying to hide in the elbow, that elbow joint on him. So I'm gonna move these up a little bit so that the shot makes sense, more sense. There we go. So doing this Star Wars shot that Sonny is about, um, I just want to give you a quick tip. So when you, like, this is my focus, right? Vin Diesel, Bloodshot, that's my focus. And I put one of these little finger rave lights, like, woo, when you're at a party. So I put one of those on one of these cheap dollar store little lights on a lens, on a box, whatever it takes, right? So I want it to, oh, my camera lens is dirty. My recording lens is dirty, y'all. So I want to have that shine off his face because that's my point. Like that's, I want to get that part into focus. So I thought red would be cool. Now they come in a whole bunch of colors. You can get these super cheap on Amazon if you jump on Amazon and look them up. So I just using that and shooting it right to where my, my point, like where my shot needs to be, where my perspective, like where everything is heading towards right there. And then I'm using a few words, a little stand. So yeah. That's that, and you guys will see the shots in just a second. All right, so all done shooting with uh, Bloodshot here. And for my final opinion, I think it's a great figure. Um, I know I complained a little bit about the ab crunch and stuff, but without having that, you get so much more detail. And this dude's just geared up. This is how I'm gonna have him sitting up on the shelf. So with this figure, I give it like a 10. I just say, frick it, who cares, heck em. Give it a 10, because why not? This is everything we're asking for, for a movie type figure. With the detail, it looks to be screen accurate from what I've seen. So I think that, yeah, it's just really cool. The face, the face is my only issue. It's hard to get shots of, but he looks great in person. But to get photography shots, toy photography shots, it's really hard, but there is enough detail in the face when you try to focus them in. So it's just really clean and crispy, but the white, it's not that the face is bad, it's the color actually. 
of the skin tone, the white. So yeah, really cool. You could probably do some really cool stuff with this now that I'm thinking about it. You could do some crazy like Joker, beefed up Joker custom if you wanted to. Dang it, I'm gonna have to get another one of these and do that. See, while I'm talking, I just come up with crazy things in my head. Yeah, I think that'd be really cool. Damn it. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Appreciate y'all and thanks to Dubs because Dubs does all the music for my videos. So if you guys need anything done for your videos, or any type of background music that you're looking for. Or if you're an artist and you need someone to make a beat for a song. Reach out to him. His links are always down in the description. And yeah. We're going to have a lot more coming up this week. So please stay tuned. Like, subscribe, do that whole damn thing. I actually never really ask for people to do that. Because if you made it this far in the video. You're probably already subscribed. Anyway. Be kind to one another. Have a great day.